Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software. And on today's video, Duplex Printing, I'm going to show you how you can use Eclipse to accommodate duplex or back-to-back -back printing. This style of printing ensures that both of your printed pages have a wide enough left margin for binding. This print function is almost exclusively used when printing to paper. So I have a document here and this is a total of five pages long. And so what duplex printing does is it allows you to have a little bit of a wider left margin to the left of your line numbers on every single page. And typically how this is used is to print back to back pages. So you're printing on the front and the back side of the same piece of paper. And what this does is it will toggle that wide left margin for binding from the left side to the right side to accommodate for where the binding is going to be. And you can see this effect if you print a PDF. I'm going to go to output to PDF and then I'm going to select print image options. But if you're going to print to paper, you would simply press Alt O or go to production output to print. And here uh, you can also access the print options. And this is what we're going to adjust is the left margin. Uh, but I'm going to make a PDF so that you can see it in the video. And so when I go to print image options, I get that same window and I can do options. And where it says left, instead of full sized, I can choose full size duplex. And I'm going to choose that and then press OK and OK. And I'm going to make my PDF with that option selected for my left margin. And so now my PDF has opened up. And on the first page, we have a regular left margin. And on the second page, the transcript has jumped to the left because when you're using back-to-back -back printing, the binding is going to appear on the correct side on the second page if it's shoved over to the left a little bit. And so as I scroll, you see that it goes back and forth with room on the left on the front page and room on the right on the back page. And this will happen all the way through your document for all of your pages whenever you use duplex printing. But like I said, this is really only appropriate if you're going to be printing to paper and if you're going to be printing front and back and also if you plan on binding. This will make sure that everything will line up as your clients or readers are flipping through the bound transcript. And of course, the results that you get with duplex printing are all going to vary depending on the settings that you have for your document. And we can always help you adjust your document format to make sure that your bound documents look fantastic. And so again, to access duplex printing, if you're going to print to paper, you're going to go to production, output to printer, choose options, and where it says left, you're going to adjust the left margin and choose full size duplexed. If you do not wish to print with duplex printing, you're going to choose just full sized or compressed if you need more room. If you're making PDFs, there's no real reason to change this unless you just want to see how the effect would look. When you're turning in a PDF as your final copy, using a full size left margin is typically desirable. But again, if you are printing to paper, you're going to print front and back, and you intend to bind the transcript, then you can do production, output to printer, options, and choose full size duplexed. And that'll make sure that you get a great looking bound transcript, and it will save you a lot of headaches when you're trying to put that binding together. If you were to use a full sized left margin for each of your pages and you tried to bind them front to back, your back pages would sink into the binding a little bit and potentially be obscured. The full size duplex printing allows you for that extra space on the back page to give you room for the binding itself. Don't forget that Advantage Software offers anytime support. Tech support can be reached with any question anytime, including weekends and holidays at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day.